Google and Yahoo are setting new email standards. They require you to set up basic email authentication records. Hi guys, I'm Jake. In this video, we'll set up a DKIM record for your email account. You might have heard about new Google and Yahoo changes, but if you don't, make sure to check our previous video where we break it down for you. In short, SPF or DKIM are mandatory email authentication methods. If you want to maximize your email deliverability and secure your messages, it's essential to set them up. Today, let's tackle DKIM. DKIM, or Domain Keys Identified Mail, plays a crucial role in detecting email spoofing. It applies a digital signature to your emails. You can think of it as a seal on your message. By signing your emails with a unique signature, the receiving server can verify if the email was not changed during the sending process. So if you don't set up the DKIM, your email contents may be spoofed. Imagine scammers inserting dangerous links into your email copy. Email service providers will likely catch that and make sure your emails go to spam more often. And even if an email manages to reach the primary inbox, your prospect may be scammed by clicking that link. Ultimately, you will be blamed for the outcome since it was your email. I'm going to set up a DKIM for my Google Workspace account. But we also created a help article where you will find links to the guides from other email providers on how to configure DKIM in their domains. To add DKIM record, you need to have access to the admin account of your email provider. In my case, it is Google Workspace admin account. Here, you need to generate a DKIM key, which is unique for each user. You also need to have access to your domain name settings, because that's where you will be saving all your generated keys. So, the first step that we need to do is to go to the admin account. You will need to go to Google Workspace and choose Gmail from the list. Then, you need to choose a section called Authenticate Email, and here, you will be able to generate your DKIM key. The important thing is that you need to select a proper domain in case you have a different ones under one workspace account. Then you have a button which is called generate new record and you need to click on this button to generate the proper value. After this, you can go to your DNS account. You also need to choose the DNS management section and you can add a new record. As a type, you need to choose a text record as this is the type of record that is needed for the DKIM key. As a host, you need to copy information from your Google Workspace admin account and you need to paste it to your DNS. As a text value, you also need to copy this long record which consists of different letters and numbers and paste it here. Also, the important info regarding new Gmail and Yahoo email sender guidelines is that sending to personal accounts requires a DKIM key of 1024 bits or longer. Google officially recommends using a 2048 bit as longer keys are more secure than shorter ones. Time section here can be left without any changes. Then you need to click save and that's it. You've added your DKIM record. After this step, you need to go back to your Google Workspace admin account and you need to click on start authentication button. So then the system will be able to activate your DKIM record and it may take up to 72 hours for DNS changes to be fully saved on your domain host account. If you already have your DKIM in place, let's check if it is set up properly. Just in case, better be saved and sorry, right? If you are using Woodpecker for sending your emails, you don't need any external tool to do this. The process is simple. Go to your Woodpecker profile panel, click on settings, select accounts and choose an email account you want to check. Click the gear icon next to your email and go to domain checkup. As you can see, in my case, everything looks fine and my domain settings are correct. If you make any changes to your SPF or DKIM in the future, each time from Woodpecker View, you will be able to refresh your settings to see if they are still correct and working in a proper way. If you have any questions about DKIM, check more resources in the description or drop us a comment. Make sure to check out other videos on how to set up authentication records like SPF or DMARC so you have a full package and stay on the safe side with your outreach efforts. And if you like this video and want to see more like it, hit that subscribe button. See you in the next one.